All right, folks, welcome back. It is episode nine of Vance Ambulations. Uh, for this episode, we're still up in Schuylkill County, Pennsylvania, on State Game Lands 211, uh, on the same mountain, that is Sharp Mountain, that uh, Boxcar Rocks is on. I suppose I'll have to do an episode on that eventually, too. It is briefly mentioned, and no, I've actually never gone up to see them, though having been to this site many times. I hope you enjoy this episode. We're going to have fossils, some of the biggest coal pits I've ever seen, and some spectacular views. Uh, we'll also have a little coffee. That'll be nice. All right, enjoy the episode, and thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks so very much, and don't forget to tell a friend. Hey, good morning everyone. Day two of this uh, camping and exploration trip. We are up here today at uh, Boxcar Rocks, but Boxcar Rocks is not our destination. Of course, Boxcar Rocks is up here near the Dolphin, Lebanon, Schuylkill County lines. Um, we'll do an explore there one day. I actually have never bothered going up to see them. <laughs> I was always much more interested in what was at the uh, end of this giant trail no oh, giants a bit of a stretch um yeah so good morning let's uh let's get hiking uh we're gonna see some really cool rocks and uh um mining pits old coal mining pits that have uh been left they uh show a lot more rock than the ones we saw in the prior episode so yeah we'll uh, hopefully see some cool fossils and maybe even catch some views so all right let's get hiking well, folks, it is hunting season. Make sure you're wearing your blaze orange. What do we got here? Oh, these are the COVID rolls. Got it. All right, let's roll. This has got to be one of my favorite hikes. It's not very apparent for the first mile, but after that, it really does turn into something unique.
That is the way up to box car rocks. So you get your first right. All right, let's keep moving. saw deer cross now we are on state game lands thankfully it doesn't appear there's any hunters nearby yet there's two trucks in the parking lot we're gonna move real quiet and see if we can see these deer I only saw one I guess it was the lone one. I don't see it now. Oh well, we tried. Such a pretty area up here. Just lovely. Still got cell service apparently. Hey, two points. Anyone who knows that ringtone?
just spotted this indentation in the bushes. If I had my guess, there was a deer that slept here in the last few nights. All right, let's keep pressing on. It is, I don't know, maybe 50 degrees out. It's probably seven something in the morning at this point. Seven in the forties, I'm guessing. Look at this. Still just enough color on some of these trees to make it super visually appealing. Yeah, we'll come back here at some point in the spring when these woods are just greener than green. There's ferns everywhere. I hope you've been enjoying the walk so far.
this is a little spot I refer to as the breakfast nook. This has always been the ideal first stop to stop and get a little drink of water. And strip a layer off like I'm gonna do because it's getting warm. But it's the uh, prettiest little spot over here. And just off the main trail, you're not gonna be bothered with anybody. Well, this is different. I've never seen the pit with water in it before. Water level must be very high this year. I've never seen it dry, uh, wet before. Well, you can see somebody built a fire ring over here a long time ago. It's definitely sat unused. And here is a pile. Those awesome little green things I'm always wandering or fawning over. Aren't they cool? All right, well, I'll touch back with you guys in a minute and get some water and take off a layer of clothes. All right, friends, I am rehydrated and ready to get back on the road. We will bid the breakfast nook goodbye. Now I know I promised you guys I'd be making breakfast this morning out here, but I woke up at like five in the morning and decided a more prudent use of the un unusable filming time would be for me to make breakfast then. So breakfast I already have. But I do have the fixings for coffee. So when we get to where we're going, I will stop and make myself a delicious cup of joe. I'm not the only person that uses this spot. If so, these are my footprints from last year. I did not wear a trail in quite that much. This is good fun though. All right. The uh, sun's coming up over the mountain finally. We're starting to get some light on these trees. Look how pretty this is. Dare I say pastoral. Dare I? I dare. Yeah, that's probably... I don't know, three quarters of a mile, mile into this hike, the breakfast nook. Like I said, there were two cars in the lot. Well, there were three when I got here. Um, one left right as I pulled out. And I assume the other two are likely hunters. So it doesn't hurt to make a little noise while I'm out here. But, uh, yeah, I haven't run into anybody yet. I decided to strip off both. I had three layers on. Layers on. Hoodie, uh, long sleeve, and a short sleeve. And I realized when I had pulled off the hoodie, I had already sweated through the long sleeve, so I'm down to t-shirt. It's a little chilly. But, uh, that's all right. Yeah, these ferns are something to see in the spring, summer. Beautiful. Definitely brown at the moment.
right, now we are getting in to the meat and potatoes of this hike, the part that I really enjoy. Now, I'm not gonna bother today. But there are, down on that rock, some fossilized tree uh, bark remains or markings. Uh, but it is well flooded in there today, so we're not getting close enough anyway. So we're gonna press on. Now, this is where this hike gets good. And I know, I know, you said the last, you know, hour was pretty. That well, was pretty. Well, wasn't this? Look at this. So of course, this is an old mine road. And all these bumps you see on either side are waste rock piles. But on the left of these, some of these are just rolling pits. Now I'm not gonna go down in every one of these. I'll go down some of them for you. But if you explore these, you will find more and more fossilized tree bark. And if you look through the shale up here, you can usually find bits of leaves, fossilized leaves, and the occasional piece of fern. Now this is not an unknown spot. It's been picked over over the years. I'm sure there was much more spectacular stuff here back in the day. Not anymore. Well, we've got what we've got. It's so pretty in here. I love it. A lot of trees down. Here. Let's take a wander. This is the wettest I've ever seen these in this area. So we'll not be going down into that one. I'm keeping my eyes open on the rocks lying around here. Now, good-hearted folk, such as myself, in the past have left good fossil bits to see sitting right on the top for everybody. But I don't know if we're uh, gonna find any of that. We may have to do some digging later. That's all right. Let's see how the day progresses. And you gotta be real careful you get uh, hiking around the edges here. This shell rolls away real quick and you do not want to take a tumble down into one of these pits. Uh, you'll see further on down the line that uh, Forestry Service tried years ago to put up wire around the edges of some of the bigger ones, but I've apparently given up in the past few years. <clears throat> now where I'm fixing to take you guys Look, this is a great example of what this soil underneath here looks like at this point. That is purest coal dust and shale and you name it. Isn't that neat? And the moss doesn't care, neither does the lichen. Isn't that cool? So yeah, what we're walking on here really isn't dirt. It's powdered rock and shale and low-grade coal mixed in with some tiny amounts of dirt. Whew, slipper and sliding up here. I don't know if you can see on the camera, but I almost fell three times there. Let's I'm gonna be curious to see how this windscreen works. So we got, I don't know, maybe seven to 10 mile an hour winds up here right now. Look at this.
see the sun there still trying to get over this mountain <laughs> it'll get there yeah so i'm looking forward to it warm me up a little in the front back's pretty warm because the pack's something on it dug out get over to the edge here in a minute and get a better view many years ago that sign said something like no trespassing or big giant hole here yeah you can see the wire here to warn you you're about to go down a hole but isn't this neat back we're gonna have some very pretty views once the sun starts hitting the mountain on the other side and for the time being it's pretty gray over there more colors this way now here's a view scale of this is clear to you guys it is impressive to quote mr. Gly coolness over on abandoned forgotten places barbed wire is the velvet rope to adventure well, in this case, it's just heavy gauge wire, but yeah, all the adventures down there. Nice little access over here. And the 
bunch of exposed rock. Let's see if we can find us some fossils. Oh yeah, here we go. Now again, like I said to you in the last video, gotta be careful on these rocks. See, when nature settles rocks, it's got millions of years to find a good spot for them to lay. When man moves them, they don't always end up where they're in a good area. Now, all through here, we have good examples of fossilized tree bark prints right here all right up there see that and that neat look over here see those striations and such coming across here here too very cool stuff now let's get a little lower here Now, not super clear. That's all bumps here. That's all tree bark. Oh, look at this. Now this one, you can see good example of how rock layering happens. See this print was taken here and then this ended up over it. That's why you find stuff. Oh yeah, look here. This must have fallen off a couple of years ago. See this? All those markings, that's all prehistoric tree bark. Here too. Now folks, I do warn you to be careful and to not try and take any of this stuff. Leave it here for the next folks to see. And also, be very careful because this stuff could very easily fall on you. Look at this there. See all the uh, iron in this rock oxidizing. Oh, look here. This one starts all the way down here and continues up. Here, see all that? And then there's some more here. I'm sure you can see that. There's some there. A little bit up there. And right here. Yeah, this wall is just loaded. Please, please, please be respectful when you come out to places like this. All the good stuff can't be housed in museums. You've got to be able to leave some of it out in nature. Look here. You see that? Some sort of a stick or whatnot. But all very cool. So yeah, you come out here. You can see, uh, the real history. Let's pick our way back out to the main area here. Oh. I just took a stick to the eye. Let's see how bad that's going to be. Ooh. for where I'll leave some of this for you to come out and explore yourselves
But you get the idea. This area is just chock full of history, both prehistoric and early industrial. That is just one giant waste rock pile. <laughs> Maybe even lunch on top of that rock. No, it wasn't that one, was it? No, one of them around here. Uh, you can see the sun starting to peak up up there. Check that out. I should be very careful right here. Those are all yellow jackets. Somebody tore up that nest. I wonder what it was that tore it up. See that? Let's see how long till they get aggravated with me. Aggravated. All right, let's leave them alone. find a uh, exploration partner for some of this stuff because I crawled nearly into that cave but that slab of rock there's a slab of rock that hangs right at the top of that I didn't dare go any further because I would like to be rescued if I am about to die A little bit better view there. Yeah, that doesn't go back very far, but there is a fissure under there. I might be able to find pictures of that. Stick them up in here in the video. We'll see if I can find them. think this used to be just the side of a mountain that just kept going down but now all of these waste rock pile came out of that hole it's almost like seeing the uh, the inverse of the hole all that used to be down in there I'm still wondering what dug up that yellow jacket nest and there could very well be bear up here i'm not super super common down here it doesn't mean they're not around you know it could have been the wind that took it out no look at this here's another one 
All right, well, this is just peculiar. Unless I am led to believe, look at that. Can you see into that hole? I'm not moving any of that brush out of the way. It appears to all be dead in there, but I'd rather not find out the hard way. Isn't that cool? No wonder. Isn't this pretty? And if you've been paying close attention on the way, you know that our altitude has been going up. But what you may not have realized is how high we've gotten. So, I'm gonna climb to the top-ish of one of these. Man, you know what, there's an easy way to do this, hang on. Looky there. You know, I used to always carry a good hiking stick. And I found it was too much of a pain in the rear end. And I was holding the camera too. These evergreens are sick. You see that yellowing? That's not encouraging. Yeah, all of this. Look, like right here, first piece I pick up, there's some fossil remains in there. Botanical fossils, mind you. But fossils, fossilized botanicals nonetheless. We'll come back around here later and I'll crack some of these. I'll find some uh, shale and we'll do a little exploration of our own. Yikes. blown. Here's a slightly better vantage point. Oh yeah. Isn't that gorgeous?
Yeah, don't fall down the hill. that exposed rock. Yeah, a lot different from yesterday's pits, huh? Just a whole different animal up here. You do start wondering though, wonder, you know, did the folks who worked on that one pile over there work on these holes over here or stuff like that. down into this one. I think it's got a nice easy approach. Look at this one just holding on to its colors. Beautiful. Yeah, let's go down and see. Yeah. All right. Well, I am down in that pit. And a bit of disappointing news. I just put one of my three batteries in, one obviously having been already used up already. And this one's only listing as being 35% full, which is 65% less than it was supposed to be. When I charged it last night. I guess maybe we got a bad reading when I was switching some cords around that indicated it was fully charged, but it was not. Hopefully I have one more full battery after this. Now this episode's gonna be a little more shortened than I thought it was gonna be. All right, look, right here. More fossilized remains of trees. So, very cool. All right, so we're gonna head down in that pit we were looking at. Now again, be careful. Really shouldn't be doing this without somebody here, but we're not gonna get close enough to any widow makers to uh, make the missus a widow. Yeah, this ground is pretty darn unstable for walking on. Yeah, this is loamy, doesn't even cut this. Mushy. More there. Yeah. Look at all that. All of this rock that's laying down in this pile used to be attached to the face up there. Uh, and while this is very pretty to look at, some of this has fallen within the past few years, so don't assume it couldn't fall on you if you were here. Yeah, once I get someone who's willing to show up and do these weird hikes with me, 
do a little further exploration of this pile because you can see right there, fossil. I see some over, right over there. But I'm not gonna go climb in this pile today. Asking for trouble, despite having a fairly substantial first aid kit. Well, the first aid kit ain't gonna help you if you break your leg. So, we look, we marvel, we play it safe. But yeah, peels off every now and then. Yeah, see all that rock at the top there? That could go at any minute now. The slightest little thing could set that off. And you do not want to be underneath that when it happens. Or it'll be the last thing that happens to you. But yeah, all this rock was to be up there. This should have, this is probably all completely clear when they stopped. And this is all falling down over time. And some of that you can see like this down here fell a while ago. There's lichen growing on it. It's green, there's a thin layer of moss. All that stuff. I haven't been here that long. There's nothing growing on it yet. Same for the face up there. All right. We got ourselves some fun fungi here. Fresh fall over here. Yeah, if there's uh, anyone watching this who has an entirely open schedule, as mine tends to with my line of work not uh, follow the old Monday through Friday routine. Like, you know, my feet are just sinking into this. Um, who's willing to travel and oh, spot me. You don't have to come down in the pits. You can just hang out up here and drink your coffee. But some of these further explorers, I'll need a spotter. All right, folks, thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to come back next week for part two of this adventure. Stay safe out there. Take good care of yourselves, your family, and your friends. Thanks again for watching. Take care.